Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of All About Bridge Engineering and in today's episode the structure under consideration is so unique that its behavior changes from one structural form to a completely different structural form during different phases of construction. What I mean to say is during its initial phases of construction the structure behaves as a different form and once the final construction stage that is the current service stage that we are witnessing today is met the behavior of the structure changes. So we will decode the type of structure and its behavior in this episode and we will split the episode in two parts. In part A we will be focusing on the present stage that we are currently seeing and in part B we will be seeing very briefly the construction behavior or the behavior in the construction stage of this very structure. So let's start part A that is structural behavior in current service stage. So let us try to decode the behavior of the structure and through first observations it may seem to be a continuous structure but that is not 100% true because in case of a continuous structure there should have been at least one bearing on the pier caps to allow the span to behave as a continuous span at a, as a 100% continuous span because we know in a continuous span the hogging moments are developed near the support locations but we also know that these moments are not shared by the substructure so, uh, recall your structural analysis textbooks and in the diagrams you will be seeing that the support although moment is developed at the support locations but the support does not contribute in resisting this very moment but in this structure since there is no such support or the isolating device which in many cases is generally a bearing hence this structure is not a hundred percent continuous structure actually this structure in the present con in the present service stage is a combination of a propped cantilever plus a rigid portal frame so I will bring in by a zoom section the propped cantilever face of the structure. So consider this very span. On the left side we see there are some bearings placed over the pier cap and on the right side at this very joint this span is monolithically built with the bridge pier. So this is a clear practical application of a propped cantilever in bridges around us. However the larger span which is this middle span is actually a rigid portal frame and we have come across such problems in our structural analysis textbooks primarily in indeterminate analysis of structures through through various structural numericals uh, such as the one that I'm depicting through this line sketch and this bridge is actually a practical application of the same. So now in case this structure to behave as a hundred percent continuous structure there should have been two bearings one on each pier in the longitudinal direction and I have another structure in my notice where a similar shape is there however the substructure and superstructure are isolated by the provision of bearings on the top of the pier cap and I will upload that episode very soon in coming days once I reach at that place and I make a and I make that episode so this was the structural behavior in construction in final construction stage that is in the service stage now what uh, what about the structural behavior during initial phases of construction so now just focus on this very part you will be seeing that the depth of the section is very high near the support and it is reducing as we go uh, away from the support towards the span towards the middle of the span so actually there is a construction methodology which is known as balanced cantilever construction methodology please note that this balanced cantilever construction methodology is a technique of construction and it is not actually a type of structure the type of structure is actually a cantilever only so balanced cantilever construction as the name suggests left and right span uh, segments are actually lifted simultaneously and they are put in place through pre-tension wires through pre-tension tendons and that are held in place during initial stages of construction so during initial stages of construction the structure actually behaves as a cantilever member and the moment developed on the left and the right during the lifting of individual segments is actually balanced so that is the reason I mentioned that during different phases of construction this structure behaves as different structural units so in initial stages it behaves as a cantilever structure and in the final stage it behaves as a rigid portal frame with propped cantilever at the ends so this was all in this episode I hope it brought some clarity to you and I will be uploading another episode of a similar type of a bridge but that would be isolated 
that the superstructure and the substructure would be isolated by the inclusion of bearings at the top of pier caps and in that case the superstructure will be a 100% continuous superstructure and not a rigid portal frame. So that is all in this episode. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, kindly share it with your like with your like-minded friends and people and do subscribe to the channel for more such content.